Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This channel is for entrepreneurial programmers who wish to not only build apps, but also sell them. So today, before we start, let's actually go back 13 years in time. So what happened to Joe? Well, Joe today believes that apps are a big thing. And inspired by his friend's success, he set out to build apps himself now. And in fact, he did. He released about 10 apps onto the stores, but no downloads. He got about 30, 40 downloads for each. What's happening here? Well, I think it's quite simple. Back in 2008, when Steve started out, the app stores were a new thing. So when it was new, demand was rising high, supply was low, so anyone who built apps then had a much more bigger chance of success. But today, it's a different story. Today, there are about 2.2 million apps downloaded over 194 billion times. That's a lot of competition out there. And Apple does claim it's distributed over $155 billion to its developers, but most of that is going towards the top companies like Facebook. It's heavily consolidated towards the top. And that's why I think it's exponentially harder to build apps today and succeed. Today, to succeed in the app stores, you need two things. You need a great product and great marketing. By product, I mean an idea that solves a large problem for a large number of people. And chances are anything that you think of, someone else has already done it among those 2.2 million apps. But say you do have the product, now you need to market it. By marketing, I mean you need to reach a large number of people so that they could download it. You need an audience. And this could be either because you're famous and you have a large audience already, yeah, you could distribute it to them. Or if you can find someone who is famous who could distribute it for you, that's also another option. The third option is, of course, if you have money, you could buy ads and distribute your app through that. So this could be either through investment or personal savings. So either you need to be rich or famous to get your apps out there and downloaded by a lot of people. But say you're back there in 2008. It's a different story. There was less competition for product and a larger distribution space for marketing because everything was new. So why am I saying all this? Well, I'm saying all this to make a point. If you're an entrepreneurially minded person and you want to learn programming so that you could build your own apps and sell them, the wrong thing to do is to spend most of your time learning what's big today i.e. apps, for example. Instead, I believe we should think like investors. Investors, they put in their money today so that they could reap 10 times more 10 years down the line. Similarly, I believe we should invest our time in learning skills today 
that could reap us 10 times more benefits five to 10 years down the line. Not the ones that would give you say two times more benefits today, like apps in my opinion. Well, what's one of those skills? Well, a bet that I'm personally making is on Apple and it's coming air glasses. And I've done a video on that, which I'll link up say here. Hope that works out in the editing. And the reason why I'm betting on Apple specifically is purely because of its history. Yes, there are other companies like Facebook. In fact, they announced a few weeks back that they're releasing their first glasses next year in conjunction with Ray-Ban, so it might be more fashionable, who knows? But the reason why I'm betting on Apple is purely because of its track record. They're very good at timing technologies right in the market. They did this first in the personal computing era with the Macintosh devices, then in the smartphone era with the iPhone, then also the Apple Watch, which has in fact sold more than the entire Swiss watch industry combined. And I believe a similar thing would happen with the Apple glasses in two years time. So in terms of skills, a bet that I'm making is if you're ready by the time Apple releases its first glasses, by ready, I mean you can build products for that hardware, you'll be in a good position because you can start iterating with them as they iterate their hardware and build content. So that's a bet that I'm making. And in fact, that's why I created this channel. In this channel, I will share both the technical side, how to build augmented reality apps, but also the business side, entrepreneurial content on how to sell them. And all this will be coming from the perspective of a student learning and sharing their experiences. And if that's something that you're interested in, like usual, do subscribe and like so you can follow my content. And in the next video, I'll talk to you about the tools you need to build AR apps. See you then.